Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Raw Dog Reviews channel. And guys, today is a very special day because it is May 14th, and this day in 1944, a particular person was born that introduced us later on to a galaxy far, far away. So, in honor of him, we are talking about the creator of Star Wars himself, George Lucas, and to sort of celebrate his birthday today, we are reviewing this uh, 50th anniversary George Lucas in the Stormtrooper Disguise Black Series figure. I've been wanting to review this figure for a long time now, uh, ever since he was released in this uh, 50th anniversary they did. Um, as you can see, it is a massive card back as you can see. Um, of course, you get Lucas himself in the Stormtrooper outfit and the armor. Uh, he's here in the bubble. You get the accessories right here. Um, you do get this little background picture of some Stormtroopers in the back. His name in the pill right here. The Kenner logo. The Star Wars logo up here. And the 50th anniversary up there. And here in the back it has like a little uh, description for him. Talking about uh, paying homage to his accomplishments. And being a director in the films and things like that. It has also... Um, like, I guess, where the picture was taken. It was taken during the time of the New Hope filming. This is back in 1977, as you can see right here. It also has, like, this, um, sort of, like, what would you call it? Like, a time, uh, scale or whatever. So it shows you the different timelines and things like that. Has a description as well. And then some other little warnings. But I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the bubble. And we can take a better look at him. And here he's out of the bubble. And looking up close, he looks really cool. Uh, I love the overall look of, you know, the face sculpt right here. And just the uh, glossiness of the armor. They always get on point. But like I usually do, I'll start from top to bottom. Looking at the head, it looks like George Lucas. They did a really good, you know, job with the sculpt. I mean, it looks exactly like him. Has that grayish hair. Um, of course, he has uh, printing in the eyes, eyebrows, and then he has some nice shading throughout the head, as you can see. But other than that, he does have a wide amount of articulation at the neck as well as top of the head. So here's side to side, back, and forward. Looking at the torso, the main a portion of his body is... Um, I believe it's the exact same mold as a typical Stormtrooper, but other than that, he does have, of course, the white chest plate, uh, runs in the back to this back piece right here. The chest plate is made of a looser plastic, so that's nice to know, because he does have a ball joint right here, so it helps out, you know, a ton. Here's side to side, back, and forward. Look at the arms. The arm sticks out right there, goes... All the way around, as you can see. Um, of course, the shoulder pad is connected to the um, joint right here, so you do have to move it around. Um, he does have a swivel here at the elbow. His elbow goes up right there, as you can see. Um, and he does have articulation at the wrist and at the hand. The other side as well. Arm sticks out right there. Goes all the way around. Usually with the um, shoulder pad, it does make it a little bit harder to turn around but eventually we'll get it there um elbow goes up right there swivel and articulation at the wrist and at the hand look at the waist he has his belt right here with some uh like little pouches or like ammo packs i guess and then he does have the grenade but again it does not come off look at the legs he does go into a split position he does go into a sitting position right here, and they go back right there. And he does have a swivel on both of his thighs, and look at the knees. They go a little bit past a kneeling position. And lastly, looking at the feet, the feet do point down right there. They point up and have rock wrinkles, so they have some cool action poses. And look at the accessories. He has a helmet. Look at the helmet. It's... Pretty much uh, the typical Stormtrooper helmet, but overall it does look really nice. Has some, uh, you know, sort of like paint right here on the side, 
the front, and then of course here in the visor as well. Um, you do get like these little silver points right here in the front, and that nice white glossy look. To put on the helmet, all you want to do is just press down firmly onto his head, just like that, and there you go. And lastly, he has a rifle. Look at the rifle. Again, this is the typical like E11 style blaster that you get with most troopers. Has a scope, the mag right here, flashlight, and it comes in this really nice black color. To put on the rifle, it's very simple. All you do is just slide in the grip, turn the trigger finger just like that, and you're good to go. So as an overview of the figure, <laughs> I'm going to say it. This is a 10 out of 10 figure for me right off the bat. Like, who can go wrong with a Stormtrooper slash, you know, creator of this amazing franchise right here? Uh, I love the head sculpt for Lucas. Looks exactly like him. They got it spot on. I just am blown away with the fact that I have George Lucas in Black Series scale and in figure form finally here in my collection. Um, there has been other George Lucas little like cameo figures throughout the years uh, through Power of the Force and um, I believe the Legacy Collection as well has done some but overall if you're looking for a really fun figure to add to your collection I recommend this guy. And before I end the video I do want to give a quick shout out to George Lucas and wish him a happy birthday and another one to go on. George Lucas, thank you for all you've done for me and the fans throughout the entire world for creating this massive universe. This wide open galaxy that we're able to create, have fun, and just get together and talk about things, things like that. And just get to know, you know, the amazing story that you've put for us to see and witness. But I am going to end it here and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you enjoyed the content I bring to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next one.